Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 Chevy Tahoe LT two-wheel drive, black on the outside with black leather interior, with a set of brand new 20-inch polished wheels with brand new Goodyear tires, parking sensors, heavy duty tone package, flex fuel capable, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Four-wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensor. Again, four brand new tires just installed with 20-inch polished wheels. Factory running boards. This one here in the front that still has a sticker that they never took out of it. it maybe you got those tires, maybe got a mile back and forth to the tire shop. One of the many features in this vehicle is a remote start. I'll show you how that works. The car has to be locked. Press and hold here. Hold that little circle here. And starts the car right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC, and it will cool down the car for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater when you last, uh, on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just unlock the door, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, just press here, and the car turns right off. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of it, show you the interior options. Door panels are all charcoal black with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off the sunrise, manual tilt wheel, driver's side power seat slides back and forth and up and down, manual lumbar support and manual recliner. You got curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. This is an eight passenger vehicle, two in the front. A full bench in the middle and a full bench in the rear for a total of uh, eight. All right, before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And this no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. All right, let me go ahead and get inside now. Get it started for you. Go ahead and turn on the air conditioning. It's nice and hot today. And we'll put it nice and low so you can hear me talk. Let me face those vents this way. Okay, and this, uh, let's go ahead and change where it flows. Yeah, here we go. Right there. All right, um, the truck has 106, 106,000 miles, 719. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly. And there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light you see under, it's a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. <clears throat> In your shifter here, you got a couple of other things you can do with this here. You got your manual shifting option and your towing haul mode option. Press here. Once you press that, a little yellow wagon is going to appear in your tachometer to let you know that you've chosen the um, uh, towing haul mode, which, may, which disables the overdrive. It makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. When you're done towing, press it again. Yellow wagon goes away, back to normal. Um, uh, normal shifting. To the right side of the odometer, you have the outside temperature and a compass. The manual shifting option, I'll show you how that works. It's here on, the, on your console here. Shift up and shift down. I'll show you what that display is going to look like. Reverse, neutral, drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you go down one more notch, you'll see at one, it's going to come next to the M. That means you're in first gear. Now, when you tap on the plus, it's going to shift up. Every time it's going to shift up one gear until it gets to six, as this is a six speed automatic transmission. If you tap on the minus, it shifts down. 
Clearly nothing's happening now because we're not moving, but if we were, every time you tap that, you would be controlling the shifting. That does not interest you. You don't need it. Put it back to the M, I mean to the D, and the six-speed automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you. All right. Over here to the right-hand side of the uh, instrument panel, you got your trip odometer, your uh, personal preferences, and system check. That is all going to display right on your screen up here. All right, uh, let's turn on the stereo here. And let's find a station, maybe. Okay, you can control the volume right here in your steering wheel. Lower it. Mute it here in the center. This one here is your source button. Right now we are on FM. For I press the source button, changes to XM. This vehicle is XM capable, although right now it's in preview mode. You have to sign up for a subscription by going to their website or calling their phone number. Press it again, back to AM, and one more time back to FM. And you do have an auxiliary input here for your iPod, so you can listen to your iPod stereo right on your Bose stereo sound system. Okay? All right, down here, let's start from the bottom up. You got a couple of cigarette lighter adapters here for your chargers. Power adjustable feature uh, pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you about four or five inches, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Uh, you got, um, uh, this is to disable your parking sensors. This one here is to disable your traction control. You got dual climate control. And what does that mean? Well, I'm going to put the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle at 70, while the ones in the right left hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60. This means that this vent here and that vent there is 70, this one here and this one over here will blow at 60. All right, um, this vehicle uh, is equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. And let me tell you what else that does for you. For example, if you get into an accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, but you'll save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. All right, um, let's see what else. If you have any... Um, can't have an emergency, press the red button. The All-Star Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. The All-Star Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. Um, if you check engine light comes on, press the blue button. They'll come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com. And don't forget to mention our dealer so, we, so you can get a 90-day free trial. All right, and uh, you got some storage down here and the center console here where you rest your elbow. You have storage as well. And then there you got a USB port and another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. You got wood trimming all around the vehicle and the dashboard on all four door panels. Your main glove box is over here. Up in the top here, you got a set of map lights. And uh, let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Car's in really, really nice shape. Whoever had it took real good care of it. Looks like evidently it must have been highway miles. All right. Um, on the left-hand side of your steering wheel, you got your cruise control. Uh, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you're going to answer the phone over here and hang it up over here. Uh, and um, these buttons here are to navigate at your preset, about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which, of course, can be changed. Uh, if you're not on the phone, you can press and hold down the mute button to access your voice commands. All right, uh, let's go ahead and turn off the vehicle and let's move to the middle row section. <clears throat> I try to cover as much as I can in these videos. Sometimes I miss stuff. Uh, if you have any particular questions, again, call me, 305-218-5462. Got roof rack with crossbars that slide up and down those rails so you can adjust your luggage to wherever you want by sliding the rails down, uh, either up or down. Uh, all the door panels are the same, charcoal black with the wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Stick your key in here, give it a half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside, once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, put the key back in there, twist it to the right, and this handle will start working again. All right, um, <clears throat> you got a full bench in the middle, so two in the front, three in the middle, that's five, and three more in the rear, a total of eight. Up in the top here, you get a set of AC vents and map lights 
for the middle row passengers and there's another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you can actually pull this down and use this as an armrest or cup holder. And there are anchors in all three positions, here, 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 and two more on the other side so you can fasten your baby car seat to either one of the three positions. In the back of the center console, the, rear, um, the middle row passengers can control the rear AC, they can control the fan speed, where it flows, how cold or how they want it. They can also control the stereo. They can turn it on and off, seek forward, seek backwards. They can change the source, which is going from AM to FM to XM. And they can change the programming, which are your preset stations. They also have headphones for privacy on either side. They can also raise the volume and change the tuning. You got a cigarette light adapter here for your chargers. That pops open into a cup holder. It looks like it needs a little greasing from lack of use. But that's no big deal. That's just five minutes WD-40. Okay, to to access um, to access uh, the cargo area, you pull up in this handle. The seat back will flip forward and tilt up to give you nice and easy access to the third row. All right, let's move on to the um, cargo section. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. These are your parking sensors. These are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. There are two on each side of the bumper. You get a class 3 heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection they're ready to go for all your towing needs. This vehicle is flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per dollar, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can also use regular unleaded or premium unleaded. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. You got a rear wiper. Inside of the glass, you got those little orange lines. That's your rear window defroster. To open up the tailgate, press in here and squeeze. Pull it out toward you. This is a 50-50 bench seat, which is removable, and there are several actions you can take with it. If you pull up on handle number one, the seat back will flip forward, and you can put stuff on top of it. Once you've done that, if you want to go into cargo mode without removing the seat, so you pull this one, the seat back will go forward, then you pull up on this one, and then the seat will actually lift from the back to the front and get right up to the back of the center row seat, which gives, which gives you more space back here without having to remove the seat. Now, if you want to remove the seat, pull up on handle number one, once the seat back goes down, you grab here and pull hard and the seat will come out. And it's a 50-50 bench seat. They're independent from each other, which means if you want to put something large over here and remove the seat or flip it forward or tilt it, uh, you can uh, still use the seating capacity on this side. As you can see, they're independent from each other here. Okay, back here, you got another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. To close the tailgate, you grab up here and pull down. And that's it. All right, um, let's come around to the passenger side. You got factory running boards for the little ones to climb in. Right rear door panel. Give you another look at the seating areas. You can see it's nice and clean back here. Looks like they don't have any kids. There's no indentations of baby car seat and it's just real clean back here. Um, give you a look at the headliner from a different angle here so you can see that there are no stains, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. It's not sagging anywhere. All right, let's move on to the front. Right front door panel, same way, black with a wood trimming. Uh, you have storage here in the sides and a bottle holder here. And you got power seat on the passenger side. Remember the seat goes back and forth and also up and down. And it's manual lumbar support and manual recliner. Let's pan over that seating area one last time before we conclude the video. Before we conclude the video, I want to um, talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you'll see a tab up at the top that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.